now we are going to talk a little bit about what happens in the hardware whenever we code you might ask me why do i tell you about hardware architecture probably you are not gonna build any hardware right but trust me that out of 100 people that i asked how a code works not even five are able to explain that to me okay therefore if you want to master anything you should at least know the basics of how these things are integrated from the software to the hardware and how these things work okay so now we all are very much acclimatized with this diagram there is something called as the input system the central processing unit and the output system right so we will see this in a little bit of detail now we will talk about the central processing unit now this operates at an incredible speed and it processes billions of instructions per second it constantly asks you what do you want me to do next right these instructions are sent to the cpu through a set of pins typically 32 or 64 of them you can see these pins here right the cpu request instructions from the memory okay this is called as the main memory and this interaction forms the core of programming okay the cpu asks for instruction and the memory provides them guiding the execution of program so this main memory is really fast but as soon as you switch off the computer all the data stored in it vanishes okay and so to store files like the word processing files the text file or whatever you got to store so that it lasts a bit longer you have a secondary memory okay so even if the computer is switched off your data won't go from here okay now my question is where do you fit into this architecture right so in this architecture we are somewhat a part of the main memory okay i will explain that to you so when the cpu asks the question what's next it is your job to answer that and you answer that by writing a python code and then this python code sort of gets loaded into the main memory there's a magic translation process that happens and then your code is actually answering this question 3 billion times a second now what's actually running is not a python code as i said it's a translation process you write a python file and then the python translates itself into the actual language known by the microprocessor which is a series of zeros and one called the machine language therefore summing up the process for example if you want to calculate what is 5 plus 3 right you write result equals to 5 plus 3 now the code that you have written is saved in a file in your computer think of it like writing down a maths problem on a piece of paper okay now this codes will be translated into a series of zeros and ones python itself has a built-in translator so when you run your program it reads your code line by line for 5 plus 3 the interpreter translates this into a machine code which is a series of zeros and ones so imagine is like imagine it's like translating your maths problem into a secret language that only the computer can understand the next step will be the execution by the cpu so the computer's cpu will work as a smart calculator it takes the machine code and performs the addition result so it adds 5 plus 3 getting 8 as the result now this result will be stored into the computer's memory like writing down the answer on a piece of paper the final step is displaying the result so if you want to see the result your program can print it for example you might have print result in your code the computer displays the result on your screen in this case it would show 8 so this is how the computer works once we code in the next lecture we will see what is python and how it is different from other programming languages